I did a video recently where I took a hammer hatchet and made it into a regular hatchet by cutting the hammer head off and cutting out the nail slot. What I ended up with was this little 15 ounce hatchet here. It took about 45 minutes for that modification. If you'd like to watch that video, I've got a link to it in the description for this video. But I needed a handle for it, so I went to the hardware store and I bought this hickory handle. When I got it home, it was too big to fit inside the eye of this little hatchet head. And I figured if I was gonna have to do any work to make it fit, I might as well make one of my own. Plus I wasn't too happy with the hammer style handle. I wanted a regular hatchet style handle. So I've got a piece of cherry wood that's been in the shop here for a few years. And today we're gonna to make a hatchet handle out of it. Now I know cherry is not the optimum wood to use for a hatchet handle, but that's what I've got. So that's what I'm gonna use. Let's get started.
And before you guys start crying about how bad the grain in this handle is, I don't really care. Uh, this hatchet only weighs a pound and a quarter. And this is a piece of cherry stock that I had here in the shop that I wasn't using for anything else, so I thought I would use it. So uh, I know this is not the perfect grain, but again, I really don't care. It's not going to be under that much duress whenever I use it. I'm not going to be cutting trees down with it, and I think it's going to do just fine. It's always a good day when your oil cloth has got hula girls on it. You know it's going to be a good day. This is a mixture of 50-50. It's 50% Minwax and 50% Mineral Spirits. That way I can put several coats on. It dries pretty quick. And I'll put several coats on and get it where I want it. Just starting to get a little bit of push right there. And a little push here. Let me see if it'll go just a little more. Yeah, see I'm getting a little roll right here. Canter just a little bit. Let me try one more. If you'd like to see the video where I modified a hammer hatchet into this hatchet, I've got a link in the description and you can check it out if you like. When it's all said and done, this little hatchet is 12 inches from bottom to top. She's four and a half inches from the back to the front of the blade. And that blade edge is just under two and a half inches. The weight of this hatchet head and the handle together is only a pound and a quarter. So this is a little hatchet. I've got a piece of cherry that was laying around the shop. That's what I made this handle out of. And I know what you guys are going to say. You're going to start telling me what a lousy grain this is for a hatchet handle. I'll agree with you, but you know I'm not too concerned about it because this is just a little kindling buster. And if I ever break that handle out, I'll just make another one. I think it turned out pretty good. It's a fun little project. I hope you enjoyed it.